Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, quick tour around the hangar here since we've got the airplane moved in. Uh, built a rack to be able to store all the control surfaces on to keep everything up off the floor and uh, you know try to prevent them from getting damaged. Uh, the workbench there is the bench that I uh, used to assemble the wings on, did most of the, the long work on, and they're just sitting on the, the rolling toolboxes for now. Uh, that's the remaining parts that uh, are used for assembly on the, the board there. Um, and uh, basically is able to just put everything up on that single four by eight sheet of plywood. Um, it, so we're, we're moving along here. And then just some materials that uh, need to go in that's uh, control or the covers for the, the doors and whatnot. And uh, some other pictures on that. So onto the wing install. Um, I, 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 this is about where I came into helping Aaron uh, with his sling uh, about two years ago at this point in time. And uh, we had, uh, he had a, fairly uh, difficult time getting the bolts in. Um, and about a week after we did that, uh, Flight Chops did a video on getting his wings installed. And uh, with a gentleman that was helping him, that was like, well, the trick on this is you've got to put the bolts on dry ice bef you know, before you uh, go to insert it. Because what it does is it shrinks the bolts just ever so slightly so that it fits into the hole. And then as they warm, warm up to room temperature, they expand into the hole itself. Um, so I made a mental note of that made sure that I wasn't going to be running into any problems around that. And um, uh, 24 hours before we did this, uh, I got the bolts on dry ice. So they've been shrinking ever so slightly during this period of time. The other thing that we needed to do is uh, get the uh, correct end of the control rod uh, squared away before and insert that into the wing before we uh, put the wing on, because this is the last time you're going to be able to do this. Um, I already had the eye bolt attached to the carry through rod uh, on the controls. So just to be sure we are exactly where we need to be, uh, we went ahead and just, you know, test screwed it on to, to uh, make sure that was there. You can change the bolt on the other end uh, all day long. So it, as long as it fits the, you know, going into the fuselage, you're fine. Uh, even if you're incorrect on the outboard side of things. Uh, and then just a matter of getting this inserted, there's uh, some uh, eyelets that it goes through, uh, some of the the the, rib, the ribs on in the wing going in, uh, you just got to make sure that those guide in correctly. Um, there's some access ports on the bottom of the wing that allows you to uh, reach inside if you need to to guide it through those uh, those eyelets that it's got to go through or the bushings, I guess. So um, anyway, so we got both of those on and uh, those are those are squared away, and uh, roll the roll the plane into place. And uh, this will be the last point in time where the Airplane is without wings. Um, I, I, I really don't want to ever have to take the wings off um, just because it is a challenge to do the bolts and uh, um, there's just there's a lot of work around uh, getting them on and off. Totally not impossible, but uh, I only wanted to really do this once. Uh, the one thing that we had to do before we put the wings on here is all the slings, uh, F, and, I, and early on I don't think they came with the spacer, but uh, uh, the, all the current models come with a, a spacer that's in the carry-through spar, and uh, that is meant to keep the carry-through spar part that receives the wing uh, properly spaced for uh, shipping and assembly and things like that. Um, and if I remember correctly, the instructions say something about keeping the in place until you go to put the wings on. So while we're here, we're putting the wings on. So time for this to come out. It's like two or four bolts or something like that that holds into place, and they're just regular bolts, so you can't even, you can't reuse those. Um, this process of getting the wing installed is definitely a two-person job. Um, if you've got more, sure. I mean, but uh, totally doable with two people. Um, the real trick on it is, is getting it guided into the, uh, the, the carry-through spar correctly. And then also equally as important to make sure that the rear spar uh, lines up correctly. There is a little bit of a uh, overlap in a couple pieces of material uh, on the rear spar, so you got to make sure that both of those fit in between uh, correctly. Um, when we were doing the left wing, uh, we missed that a little bit and it bent a little bit, but we just bent it back into place and it was fine at that point in time. Um, so the idea here is, is just basically get it lined up so that uh, you're close and then hop in the airplane and start guiding the bolts through. Uh, the first bolt really is the hardest one, especially you, even if the, even if even with using the uh, shrunken bolts. Um, but that's really the first one where everything has to line up, beginning, middle, and end. 
and uh, the instructions definitely have the pattern of uh, forward facing versus aft facing. So if I remember correctly, it's like most of them face forward with the nut on the front, and then there's one that faces backwards uh, with the nut on the back. Um, anyway, so getting the first bolt out here, uh, hop up in the airplane, and of course at this point in time, you can't see me because I'm down inside trying to figure out or trying to see the alignment on the bolts. Um, and then it's just a matter of communicating out to uh, the, the person helping you, in this case is Don, um, saying, you know, up, up down, left, right, um, just to guide him in. And then the really handy part is, is having somebody outside to be able to handy the bolts. Because um, otherwise you're just in and out of the airplane. And as you get closer to the end, there's definitely a lot more of that. Um, I, you just kind of get used to getting in and out of the airplane. Um, and uh, then, you know, he's handing off the bolts as, as necessary. We just split the gloves. And um, honestly, this went so much better than when I helped with Aaron's. Uh, I know with Aaron, we spent probably, I don't know, two or three hours easy. And uh, I didn't, I wasn't able to even stick around that day for, for, for that entire time. And we were definitely using some uh, good force. Well, I, I mean, we were persuasion to get the bolt through the hole um, and I think he worked on it probably a couple more hours even after I left and um, uh, all told the time that Don and I spent on this was about an hour and a half um, so it went very very smoothly and I was very happy with the progress that we made on it so anyway um, that's the quick video on getting the wings on um, there'll be certainly uh, there's at least one more video that I've got coming out on this and then I'll just do a catch-up video after that to catch everybody up on where we've been and, and where things are at at this point in time because uh, we're kind of getting late in the, the, the spring to be able to be talking about this. Anyway, talk to you a little bit later. Thanks. Bye.